Hey! So life, life is quite like a hurricane, quite often on this show. Really makes you think, don't it? I yeah. cannot, I cannot, I'm, I'm trying here, I'm trying to do my best for the, you know, for the, for the bit, and you know, get my outfit, and look the part. I even and, have a genuine Wilderness Girls patch. Yeah, Troop Beverly Hills, very nice. So we have, we have DuckTales, we have Troop Beverly Hills, we have Ash from Supernatural. It's, and, uh, a, and a dragon kitty. We all, so we, we are all either things from, from well, I, I wouldn't say 20th century, except Supernatural is like, well, that was late 2000s. But. Things from the 80s or things that wish they were from the 80s. <laughs> uh, okay, this, this has to come off. I can't see, I can't breathe. <laughs> see, this, this was not a good plan. That. This is why I don't do mask costumes. This is why I do makeup costumes. I thought to myself, you know, I love the show and that it's an option and, and it's the cartoon. It's great. I can do this. And then I get the outfit and I realize I can't do this. Why is somebody in the chat got to use this opportunity to take a shot at Shelly Long? Shelly Long did have a film career after Cheers, by the way. She did. Look it up. She did. She's and, also still working in television. Yeah, and also and she, Beverly Hills is a night classic. And she was the better person. She was the better uh, romantic interest on Cheers. Let's be perfectly oh, yeah, honest. Mile. Because you know she's not. And she didn't grow up to be a Trump supporter. Yeah, she True. didn't. She, yeah. She... Uh, all right, so don't come for Phyllis Neffler. Um, it's our uh, it's our Halloween, and. Uh, have a lot to be scared of this year um we will be getting to the costume stuff and i've got some some updates and some things i want to talk about before we do that um you're supposed to see more of the green in the scarf i don't know what's going on here i couldn't find an all green scarf so i've had to like creatively fold i've had to, to, to work around this because i should have a green shirt with this costume but I mean, it didn't work out for yeah. Grady and his. Already, like, you had the green screen going before, and Grady's costume set it off, and it was yeah. very cute. <laughs> and he's. Oh, you, do you want to be. Do you want to try the costume one more time? No. <gasps> I just want hugs. Come here. Come here. Come on. We can try it. We can try it one more time. People are going to. No. He's. <laughs> he's like, no. Thank you. you. The, the only way you get to put the costume on the pets is if the pets are cool with it. When they stop being cool with it, you keep, it's done. We're Sad over. dogs in costumes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So, um, let's get to this part first. Because we, as always, we have the horrible, as usual. That, that doesn't change. It never changes. It is forever. 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 There are no girls in the sand lot, otherwise I would have done that by now. Uh, I actually, you know, I, I thought about doing not the, the mask, but doing like a, a makeup thing with like a, a, a bill and then doing white around here. But I realized it would look horrific. They make... They make like COVID masks that are duck bills that open and close when you talk. And you could have just kept that night all night. Yeah, but it would have looked like yeah, it already. I already. The problem was I didn't get like. Oh, stop! Go away. No, not you. Not you. I already didn't get um, white gloves mm. for my hands. So my costume with with the launch pad, it looked less like you know launch pad and more like like the fly by way of Disney. Because yeah, it just so. All right, let's get the intro going so we can get this rolling. We're having a night. Airplane, could you fool a lot? All right. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible things, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And uh, we have. A selection this week. Um, I already have a title. I I, I knew it as uh, as. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, I knew it as soon as the story came in. 
that this was going to be this week's title. And you're going to hate it because it, it is, it's, it's, it's terrible. Um, it's, I need to get you over here on the screen. I have so much stuff going on this week to try and try and keep everything together. So, um, you remember Goop, you remember, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and her. Do you know they sell her shit at Sephora now? It, it, it her her approach toward things that don't have the backing of science just for the sake of we're just asking questions and maybe we don't know all the answers and blah 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 you know what that kind of leads you toward grifters Being an anti-vaxxer yeah yeah, that yeah. Too. grifters um like uh like this th this welcome to our art this is asshole for this week um our title for this week is uh steamed clams <laughs> Yeah. Gonna take people a second, but they will get there. Um, owner of Vaginal Steam Spa agrees to plead guilty for hoarding 20,000 N95 masks. Uh, now, if, if you don't understand, I mean, I don't know how you could not understand the uh, how this works at this point. Where's the frickin'? Come here. What if Paltrow tried to convince women that your vagina needs a steam facial with botanicals and herbs? That you need to squat over a thing emitting steam that is treated with botanicals and herbs? How women have made it thousands of years without this technology, I do not know. But if you're not familiar, I don't know how you could not be familiar with how masks work now that yeah. we've been in. But N95, that's the rating for a mask type that can block out just about... It blocks out. It's the best we can do, more or less. Yeah. Um, Nikki Schwartz, the owner of Tekken Holistic Spa, that should tell you everything you know, in Santa Monica, yeah, that helps too, uh, was charged last week with one count of hoarding and price gouging after stashing nearly 20,000 N95 masks in anticipation of the pandemic with the intention of reselling them at a heavily marked up price. The Teak and Holistic Spa, first made famous by Gwyneth Paltrow, who controversially recommended its many vaginal steam services, not just the one. They don't just... Well, no, it depends what your vagina needs. They don't just steam your vagina one way. They have, they have a whole bunch of ways to steam your vagina. And that's not an innuendo. It seems like it should no. be an innuendo, but it's not an innuendo. And that's and it, how you get a burnt ass. In a plea agreement filed on October 13th, Schwartz agreed to plead guilty of the misdemeanor, an offense that carries a statutory maximum sentence of one year in federal prison. Spa owner revealed in the plea she had began hoarding the respirators in February in anticipation of a nationwide shortage. By the end of June, she had accumulated nearly 20,000 masks, which cost her between 86 cents and $1.27, and she sold for up to fifteen dollars each, Jesus. which is an eleven hundred percent markup. Schwartz confessed that selling the goods with knowledge that mass had been desi designated as scarce materi materials, and with knowledge that accumulation of the designated materials to resell in excess of prevailing market prices was unlawful. So you know, maybe these people who who want to be on the edges of things and and are kind of a little sketchy are in fact kind of a little sketchy yeah that's i'm i'm not like profit off of a pandemic where people are dying i'm not saying that being featured by gwyneth paltrow and her goop is is an indication that you're a crook except that's exactly what i'm saying I, I, I'm saying if if you meet anyone who has been part of Gwyneth Paltrow's goop, I would I would check your pocket, make sure your wallet's still there. I would count your rings. I would check your fillings for fuck's sake. Because she she also advised women at one point to shove a jade egg up our vaginas. Yep, for reasons to like cleanse the energy. And like, I've made some dating mistakes. But I don't think any of them were so bad. 
that I need to shove healing crystals up my vagina. It's a it's a rock. It's a fucking rock. Well, you charge them and you leave them out on the full moon and that charges them. That's what gives them okay. powers. At least that's what the, t- the TikTok witches tell me. The TikTok witches. I hate this real. I hate it so much. I hate the <laughs> realm where I hate it. So um, next, this next one, this is, uh, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> you're probably going to pronounce some of this stuff because it's not your country. I, I I read this story and I it did not compute. And I, I admit that's a bit of a stereotype, but I also, I'm, I'm part Irish here, so I've got a little bit of say in this. You're, you're, you're more Irish, so you have more of a say in it. Um, let's see what you think. Is the story okay. took me back a little bit. Irishman goes on bottle smashing rampage in Tesco I after allegedly video. being asked to wear a face mask. The town is Drahida. Drahida? Drahida. Drahida. Drahida? Drahida. Drahida. Okay. I have, See. I have been there. Okay. Um, in the footage, a man can be seen hurling dozens and dozens of spirits and wine bottles to the ground of the booze aisle. All right. Now look. The wine, okay, sure. I, I could see I could see that. But the spirits. Your dumbass got so mad, you're Irish and you're smashing the good booze. What the you're fuck? Also, that's also no way to stay on the good side of the Fey. No shit. You're going to anger the Fey. That's no way to say the stay on the good side of the people who live in that town because you've just smashed all the fucking booze in the Tesco. Yeah. They it's not like supermarkets here. Like they have a pretty impressive liquor selection at like the Tesco's in Ireland because they don't have weird blue laws like we do. They don't have like separate liquor stores because they don't, I mean, they might have them, but they don't necessarily need them as much as we do. Uh, once he realizes being filmed, the man appears to throw the bottles down with more force. Shocked well, I mean, on lookers can- you don't want to look like a weakling on your rampage. Shocked onlookers can only watch and flee for cover as the vandal sends glass and alcohol flying in all directions. Um, McCormick told the court he would not agree to a bail condition to stay away from all Tesco outlets in Ireland and to remain sober. Really? That. That. OK. OK, that that, that was that was just so you'd rather stay in jail than not go and fuck with the Tesco. Like, there's other places to shop in Ireland. That's not the only supermarket chain. No, it, I think it was mainly the point, like, what, you mean I can't go back and, and fuck with these people some more? Fuck you. Yeah. They have to learn I that mean, I'm this right. Was, this was all because they asked him to wear a, wear a mask. Wear so. a mask, right. What, okay. If, 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 if you want to be this idiot, and I'm amazed this isn't happening in America. I mean, overseas, that's, wow, that's new. Um, if you want to be this idiot, fine. You leave. Um, no harm, no foul, really. Um, you don't have to be there. They don't have to be around you. You don't have to wear the mask because you don't get to shop there. Fine. Uh, why did you now? Now you're in jail. Yeah. What the fuck did you? You're you're not going. What the fuck? What have you accomplished? And like. Before before this guy starts talking about how he's taking a stand, Bobby Sands, you are not, sir. There will be no rebel songs written about you in twenty years, and it's not because like, you're just a fucking asshole. And it's not like the people are on your side because no. you're in Ireland and you just smashed all the booze in town. Well, and like they've had some anti-mask protests in Dublin, like maybe a hundred people show up. It's a very small movement. I saw there was one, I think, up in Donegal. But, like, they're very small. Yes, but... And most people think they're idiots. He smashed all the booze in an Irish Tesco. That's... That, that, that's not a good way to win, fl- win friends over. There. That, that's like... It, 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 
No, what were you thinking? They'll all flock to my banner. No, they won't. Oh, honey, no. They're they staring won't. at all those broken bottles, and you know, some guy thought, well, maybe I could get some off the... No, there's glass. God damn it. I don't... I don't think Irish people are at licking the floor levels of drink. You, you say that, but we got the fucking Brexit coming, and we got the fucking everything. But the Republic of Ireland has nothing to do with Brexit. Yeah, but there's also, you know, how are we going to get the stuff shipped over? Do we have to change things around? Do we have shortage? I'm. If that were me, I would be I doing the calculus. I don't think the, the booze off the floor through broken glass, though. We'll see. We'll see how Brexit goes. It's Boris Johnson. Anything's possible. Yeah, but they're still in the EU, so they can renegotiate trade routes and things. Like The man could fuck up a bowl of cereal. <laughs> You'd give him, like, a box of, of, of cornflakes and a, a, some milk. He'd come out, he'd be wearing the fucking bowl on his head. He'd have fucking soggy flakes in his fucking shoes. Well, I mean, he has to cut his hair somehow. Oh... Northern Ireland, they, as far as I recall, Northern Ireland did not vote to remain, but because the UK did, they didn't get a choice. Yep. So they're, they're kind of fucked. But the Republic of Ireland has nothing to do with it, except that they're worried about there being a hard border. Yeah. Which means customs, which means bullshit, which means right. bullshit. Which means second civil war, probably. Yeah. Happy times. Now let's come back to uh, th th this. This It's a Florida story. And before we get to a Florida story, I have to mention this. On election night, if Joe Biden, it, it, it is possible considering they've already, uh, the way they do their, their mail-in ballots, Florida could have already, they're already tallying the, right. uh, they'll have them tallied on election night for who won. If Biden wins, it's over for Trump. If Biden wins Florida on election night, Trump has no path to victory. That's pretty much what the experts are saying, yeah. So, yet again, the state whose primary exports, I said this earlier, are inappropriate nudity and invasive pythons. Once again, our fate hinges on these people. Yeah. And with that in mind. That Bugs Bunny sawing gif just gets more just attractive gets, every, every day. day. <laughs> just float them off into the ocean. I know that's not how geography works. But we can but hope. it's nice to think about. We, we can wish. Um, Florida man in garbage bag suit set garbage trucks on fire, causing millions in damage. Broward County Sheriff's Office violent crimes detectives looking for a man dressed in black who set fire to several garbage trucks. At approximately 2.12 a.m. Sunday, October 18th, a unknown male subject wearing a black garbage bag type suit and goggles entered the Waste Pro facility. Uh, after you know I'm picturing that Missy Elliott video, right? <laughs> 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 Especially since you said goggles. After the mail force entry, by torching the gate to gain access in the compound, he walked to the rear of the property alongside the garbage trucks, which appeared with what appeared to be a gas canister. Surveillance video of the incident so shows the subject walk to the rear of the property and light a garbage truck on fire. He then proceeded to walk back to the front gate, lighting several other garbage trucks on fire before opening a door to the building and placing a clear bottle of liquid on the floor and lighting the liquid, causing the building to catch fire. The suspect is then seen leaving the compound through the gate and then fled in a black sedan. Why? What? I know, right? Now, look, look, I know we got stupid shit with the mail and the ballots and all that. So maybe, maybe it, we could not that it'd be justified, but we could at least make sense of attacking the post office, right? It wouldn't be good. We wouldn't like it, wouldn't approve of it, but we could understand if some idiot did that. This is the garbage people. Like, was this year not enough of a trash fire for you? You, you gotta like, it's like... That you felt you needed to start a literal trash fire? And oh my God, can you imagine what burning garbage trucks smell like? Even if they've been cleaned out. 
There's still garbage trucks every single yeah. day. They're full burning garbage trucks. Like, is this the most literal piece of performance art ever? <laughs> like, like, is Banksy just giving up? If anyone overheard this guy yelling my life for you, then we're done. That's a very esoteric reference, and I approve of it. Lesser Godzilla. That, that, lesser yeah, Dr. Godzilla. I yeah. I don't get it. You don't get it? That, that's, a, it's, it's a Stephen King thing. It's, oh. if you do if you don't read 1500 page novels then you're you're probably you're you're not there i have uh, i've read a 1500 page chuck wendy novel twice banksy snap he does a lot of like self insert fanfic that <laughs> i just it why in the fuck why they make the garbage go away also, why did you decide to wear head-to-toe flammable material for this mission? And the garbage bag. Why? Are... You know those are flammable, right? I don't. I don't fucking get. It's not just that this happened. It's that I'm baffled. Yeah. What was the reason for this crime? We're coming in on the third act. We're like those people in the, in, have you ever gone to people in the fucking movie theater and they will lean over and, and even if they're watching what's going on, they'll lean over someone else and goes, who is that? <laughs> where, where, where'd that come from? Yeah, like motherfucker, it's a movie. <laughs> You've been that's, here the whole time. That's kind of how I feel right now because I'm like, what's going on? Where am I? This is not maybe my beautiful like a, house. Maybe it, maybe it's like a mafia thing. But the but yeah, but the mafia the, tends to run garbage trucks. But the garbage bag wearing the garbage bag. Yeah, like a fucking I don't super why villain. He had to cosplay as Missy Elliott to do this job. Right, Missy what? Elliott doesn't deserve that. She's a great I, artist. I don't understand it. It's it's just I don't get it. Like <sighs> it's just like a wet bandits thing where you're trying to like make a name for yourself doing it poorly like you're trash man uh, well Are you like trying to be like a captain planet villain no those, no 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 if you're trying to be a captain planet villain you run for congress Ooh. um True. now let's move on to uh speaking of uh politics let's uh let's move on to russia russia so like us uh and i say that quite literally because um this is this seems like something that could have definitely happened over here. Drunk Russian soldiers smash tank through metal fence of Volkograd airport after racing along roads at 55 miles per hour before okay. driver and crewmate are detained. So uh. Bucky Barnes had a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> Russian soldiers smashed a high speed armored vehicle. We got video. Let's let's do the video here. It's here we go. There they go. There they, there they, no 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 no. Go back. Put it back. Put it back. No no no. Put put, put it back. There we go. Um. Here they go. Uh. Video shows the armored vehicle with a hundred millimeter gun and a thirty millimeter automatic cannon smashes the metal fence at the airport. Corporal Alexander uh, Zarep. Oh God. Zerbsov? Zerbsov? Uh, Zerbsov? I think it's Zerbsov. 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 Oh, I'm, I feel so bad because I'm getting this Zerbstov. wrong. Zerbsov. Well, fuck the dude anyway. Had alarmed locals in his BMP infantry fighting vehicle at 55 mile per hour on a busy street. Corporal. Okay, corporal. That's not just like a, pi a private or some shit. That's like a dude who can give fucking orders that have to be obeyed. He narrowly missed a house in Gumrak, uh, Gumrak, Gumrak, and smashed through a pile of chopped firewood, forming a sharp, a sharp turn across waste grounds toward Volgograd International Airport. There are people sitting outside of it. Yup. <laughs> With him in the <laughs> armored. Funny. With him in the armored vehicle was a conscript. Private Dmitry uh, Nerozinskov. 
I have so many ads popping up, I can't even see the article. Narosniskov. Narosniskov. I got it. One onlooker, a railway worker, said, we raised our heads and saw a BMP3, which was literally flying. <laughs> Another said, I thought noise from a plane was falling out of sky, but I turn around as an auto armored vehicle flying past the back of my yard. <laughs> How? What the fuck happened here? Like, is that your I quit? <laughs> Because <laughs> even in the American military, that wouldn't work. So I feel like it wouldn't work in Russia. Yeah, this is what you don't get to quit after this. You get to sit in a little room for many years. Many years. I it's <laughs> yeah. The, 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 this uh, this this has happened in America. So you know, I don't get it. I don't. Sometimes you know, you just take the tank out for a joyride. Drunk. Through a barbed wire fence. Drunk off your ass. Drunk with a private. Have you, did you ever do that? I, I never did that, but when I was on Fort Carson, somebody did take an M113 fighting vehicle through a Burger King parking lot. Asphalt does not do well. They were going through the drive through Burger King people don't get paid enough for that. They don't. Yeah. No, they don't. What? I don't I don't get I don't fucking get it. Don't they have like video games? They have video games. <laughs> you can play the video game. They have explosives. I don't get it. How maybe Grand Theft Auto is a LARP in Russia. <laughs> How bored are you? And, you know, I, I'm just saying, considering who's in power in Russia, I don't care how drunk I am. You couldn't pay me to pull some shit like this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, in the American military, you'd be fucked. But in Russia? Like. Under Dr. Evil? Like, you couldn't. I mean, what were, are you, really? You want to roll them dice, huh? Good luck, man. You know? This, it's, yeah. It's a think tank without the think. Dark Angel Otaku, yeah. yeah. In Soviet Russia, GTA plays you! Mm. Yakov Spurnoff, still just, just terrible all these years later. People for see, people are like, why do people do that Soviet Russia thing? I don't understand. Where's that from? I don't why people see, say I don't get it. It's because you're children. Yeah. Same reason half of you don't get my costume. Because <laughs> uh, and like well, I watched Troop Beverly Hills last night to to you know get myself prepped and I think it holds up. I like it, but all the celebrity cameos, like. Frankie and Annette. Yeah. Robin Leach. Dr. Joyce Brothers. Like, Gen Z watching that movie is like, are these people like important? I don't get it. Let's move on to Phoenix because, of course, um, <laughs> Phoenix Man accused of peeing on restaurant door and exposing himself to employees. Scottsdale, Arizona. Because of course it's Scottsdale. A Levine man is in trouble, according to court documents, after he spat with employees at a Scottsdale restaurant. According to court documents, Justin Amir Young is accused of indecent exposure and disorderly conduct. Uh, Young, according to court documents, was told to leave the restaurant because the restaurant was closing. Just, that's, it wasn't because he'd done anything wrong. It was because anyone was angry with him. It's like, we have to go home. Please yeah, leave. I don't like that either, though. I can't tell you how many times I've had a customer just decide that they don't care. Like, well, what are you going to do? We're, we're leaving. Yeah, but you can't. And they know that. Well, so the, they just will camp out and make you suffer. We've turned the fryer off. It, no one's going. You're not going anywhere. You're, you're not getting more. What the fuck is fucking wrong? <sighs> 
Young allegedly refused to leave and began to yell at employees. Once Young was out of the restaurant, Young proceeded to pull down his pants and urinated on the door as he exited. This isn't even primate behavior. This is like, you know, pack animal behavior. Like, why? What was that going to accomplish? For right. You? What? You can't, like, you don't own the restaurant now. I'm sorry that we don't work by those rules. Um, oh, yeah, you sure showed them. Investigators claim Young also exposed himself to employees as well as obscenely gesturing at them. Okay, now you're in sex crime territory. Yeah. And that's not a good place to be. Now your name goes on a list forever. Yeah. It is amazing in America how fast shit escalates in very bad ways once genitals become involved. Yeah. We're kind of picky about that shit. Like... It, it, you you get you get your dick out and the stakes of just everything just cranked to eleven. Yeah, we it's it's a it's a thing. Just, that's what we call compounding the error, right? I mean, there, there's one thing yelling at the employees not leaving. You're still in legal territory. There is no law against your being dick. right. But you haven't broken any laws. There is no law against being a prick. You can, you can. The second you whip it out, yeah. When, when that's, everything changes. Yeah, you you just went. You like these go to eleven. Yeah. Like why? Why the fuck? Why? Why? What was what was worth this? It's, like you just had to assert dominance. It's like, no, no, don't pee on things. You, you cannot just go around peeing on things. You can't. Well, all right, you can, but it's nothing's good is going to happen. It's not like you've got a magic dick. No, I know, I know, I know all the men you think you have a magic dick. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. It's just, it's just like all the others. And it's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's not magic. Our last one this week is come. I think this this story deliberately happened to come around and make me look bad. I've often said on this show, we say it quite often, the old drugs still work. Why don't uh -oh. you, instead of doing meth, why don't you just go smoke pot and chill out We've made it a point that, you know, people on pot, nothing bad happens. I was wrong. Um, maybe, maybe. I... <sighs> Explosion leads cops to New Jersey field where four men found with cannon, bowling ball and drugs. Please responding to shooting bowling balls out of a cannon. Police responding to reports of explosions found a Vinland man and his friends with a cannon, fireworks, and drugs. Um, while responding, police spotted a pickup truck towing a trailer through a field. As they approached, officers saw what they described as a cannon on the trailer and fireworks in the vehicle. It was occupied by four people. In the bed of the truck, police found two mortar tubes for fireworks and a bowling ball with a rope attached to it. The men told police they wanted to fire bowling balls from the device. All right. Whenever you have to call it a device, that's that that's that's a problem cuz yeah, it, that 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 implies a ramshackle situation. In the rear seat, officers found a block, box containing black powder and other quote explosive chemicals. The driver, Daniel R. Galloway, 43, of Inland, allowed police to search the pickup, and that effort turned up suspected marijuana in the center console, along with two glass smoking pipes and two burn hand-rolled cigar cigars containing suspected pot. Galloway said those items were his, and he was arrested. All right, there's another thing. Look, it, it, it is quite like it, it, it's becoming legal in many places. It's not legal in every place yeah. just yet. Someday. What I really want to know, yeah. did they build a cannon or, 
like steal one from the front lawn of the town hall. It says device. Like, where do you acquire a cannon in this day and age? It says device. So I think they might have assembled the device. And they were just going to shoot bowling balls out of it? Out of, out of Well, they did shoot bowling balls out of it. Uh, where's the... the um, let's see. There, there was a... Uh, though the bowling ball required... Yeah. The investigation to date has not determined the cannon was fired, though the bowling ball recovered from the vehicle did have damage to it. Like, listen, I've lived in New Jersey. New Jersey sucks. I get it, but this is a lot. Book bag. I mean, you've got to be careful because if you build a cannon and you don't do it right, you're actually building a pipe bomb. Yep. A really, really big <laughs> yeah. pipe bomb yeah. with a bowling ball in it. Right. Well, the bowling ball serves to block the other end, and then you have a big pipe bomb. A book bag found in the rear seat contained $29 in cash, a glass smoking pop, a pop pipe, uh, a metal grinder containing suspected marijuana, three plastic bags containing more, quote, green vegetation, three sealed bottles containing liquid THC labeled 750 milligram THC and rolling papers. How much fucking pot did you need? in a pear tree. How much did you need? That's a lot. How high did you want to go? I That's know. a lot to be operating a fucking can. Look, I know the moon's got water and shit on it now, but you can't get there and find out yourself by getting high. No. That's not how that works. Also, please don't operate artillery while on that much of anything. I mean, I I used to think, you know, people just get pod, they chill out, they'd be happy. I didn't know they'd go out and build our artillery. I mean, it has never occurred to me. <sighs> but everyone's different, I guess. I mean, it sounds like a, a Mythbusters episode. Yeah, except with more pot. Like, a lot, a lot of it. Of safety measures. <laughs> the Mythbusters took a lot of safety measures that I feel like are missing here. And then I just love how they just drove out to a field wherever and just started like, eh, we could do this. Yeah, it's not a problem. It's going to be fine. It'll be, It'll be fine. fine. It sounds like a jackass episode. Even a jackass episode. They have preparation and people like checking this shit out. I don't know. That one guy just stapled his ball sack to his leg. Fair. 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 Pronounce, I think it's we pronounced can Vineland. I think we can settle the old really? question and just I say, mean, no, the men are not okay. Right? The men are not okay. Well, the, I mean, I've been bored and I've been building shit, but nothing that's made to, you know, fire cannonballs. No. Dan's gone bored. He built a rock climbing wall in the basement and a candy shoe. Yeah, he built himself a rock climbing wall in the basement. For climbing. <clears throat> you looked confused. Okay. That's the thing. Just I, I I I guess I guess the first thing we learned this week is um maybe just I know they, they it's it's pot, but you still gotta be careful. Cause you know Like it's a lot safer. Than most of the other drugs, but that doesn't mean you should go out and do Civil War reenactments. Like, that was all of the pot, though. I'm like, fuck me. That was that's a, a lot of pot. That's a lot. And he was vaping the shit, too, on top of it. So, you know. Good God. I guess moderation matters, even this day and age. Um, let's see. And the see. saddest part is it doesn't sound like they brought any snacks. Right? Um... We learned that uh, your dick is not magic. No, sorry. It's 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 probably just going to make a bad situation worse. Yeah. Um, we've learned that in you know Russians so like us, um, they'll also smash through things in stolen tanks. 
Who among us hasn't smashed through a fence in a stolen tank? Right. Um, we've learned sometimes someone's going to clad themselves in a garbage bag and destroy a bunch of garbage trucks, and we'll never really know why. Like, it, this shit's never going to make any fucking sense to us. Maybe someday there'll be a trial and investigation, but it's never going to reach us. All we're ever going to know is a small little window into a moment that's going to baffle us for till the day we... You are going to be sitting on your deathbed, and just for a small moment, all of you listening right now have been like, the fuck did that guy burn all those garbage trucks for? <laughs> Why? The fuck did he do that for? Um... We've learned that uh, a good way to uh, get get your neighbors really pissed at you is to smash all the booze in town. Um, that, that's not During quarantine. Yeah, you're you're not taking a stand there. You're, you're just making yourself really unpopular. Because Ireland also just went back on stage three lockdown. Yeah, so people they're stuck home. All the pubs are closed. They want to get their drink on. They got to go to the Tesco. Oh wait. You smashed all the booze in the Tesco. You're lucky someone didn't set your ass on fire, is all I'm saying. I mean, with all that booze on the floor, it wouldn't have been tough. And finally, we learned if someone wants to steam your vagina, they're probably a crook. <laughs> Never heard it quite pipe put quite that way, but yeah, probably. I mean, yes, it sounds ridiculous, but also, I'm not wrong. Which is worse. Yeah. 